but he's on the edge. That edge is very slight in this level of BMX racing, but as we get ready, the riders are loaded in the gate for the first of the quarterfinals here at the Red Bull Revolution. All right, here we go. The gate's down. It looks like Mike Day gets a good pop from that center. Sylvan Andre's on the inside, but Aquindo's up there, too. So as you said, those were the top three favorites coming in. They're going into that first turn together. Let's see how things play out. And David Graff not really having a good ride on this one. He's sitting back there in third place at the moment, but he is coming on strong like he did earlier on, trying to go wide and high, and it worked out for him. He's staying with the top three, has moved into... Oh, no, he's not moved into second place. He's still back there in third place but he is in a very good position here. He okay, snuck his way right in front of Mike Day. Mike Day sits in that bubble spot, someplace we didn't expect to see him. But right now it's going to be Silva and Andre, Aquindo, Graf, and Mike Day as they come around that last turn. Looks like uh, Darren Goodwin's going to be the – actually, that's not Goodwin, excuse me. But it's going to be Andre, Aquindo, Graf, and Mike Day. Those are going to be the top four that move on. Any of those top four spots are the ones you want. But remember, also what's important is that those – your places and your time overall will let you get your gate pick going into the second semi-final. For some of these riders, it may make a difference. Mike Day that time was in the outside gate, so he doesn't really mind. But as you can see right here, Silva Andre minded. He wanted to win that lap over a Quindo and Day. And you can see right there, David Graff, he was sitting well back in fourth, fifth place, but managed to pull ahead and make a nice move here as he uh, headed into that one turn. And here on this third turn, or second turn, he was in a good position, stayed in third place, held off the charging Mike Day, could be that Mike Day played this a bit tactical as well, knowing that as long as he's in the top four, maybe not the best lane choice, but he's going to nevertheless move on to the next round. And like I said, Silva and Andre rides on the edge, and that's what you need to do in this pro class, but riding on the edge.